Hey, welcome back to this May lecture. My name is Dino. It is on content immediacy. Uh, the focus of this video is on the concept of content immediacy, as well as its various characteristics. Um, before I begin that, it's probably best for me to talk about the various forms of different digital content mediation. Um, so there are main three main forms. Uh, I'm going to review and critique these digital content media forms, mediation forms, one at a time. But I'm, as, as I said before, I'm starting with, with immediacy. The three major forms are one, immediacy, two, hypermediacy, and three, remediation. As you'll find through these ex explanations, these three forms are not mutually exclusive. They can overlap in various ways that are interesting. So I hope you once you know about them, see how they inter interact, inter intermingle, and overlap. Um, as an example, just to sort of pull back a little bit, there's a continu continuum of immediacy and hypermediacy. The more you have a one, less of the other. You can see from below there is a there is a um, a little schematic there, and, and it shows uh, immediacy and hypermediacy on two poles. And we'll get into that. It's that that'll be easier to understand as we go into all three of them. Uh, as I said before, our, the form, first form of uh, digital media uh, mediation we're going to be talking digital content mediation is uh, immediacy. Uh, so what is it? Or uh, what are some of the, the, the ideas behind it? Well, digital content immediacy, it's related to the experience of an interaction with content as transparent, opaque, erased, present, and involves perception, and it is natural. So ideally, those are the characteristics that you'll, that you'll notice of it. Uh, so what's the goal? Like, what are you trying to do when you're trying to strive for uh, um, content immediacy? Uh, the main goal is that the aim is to have an unmediated presence with the content. Content, So it's like the, diff the, the separation between you and the content is as minimal as possible. Um, this isn't just a, a new phenomenon. It has a history of when you know about content such as art, design, you know, similar things. They can be understood as a desire to achieve immediacy given the straits of the time. For example, the better the technology, the more immediacy. The less uh, less useful te technology and older technology normally, the greater, the, the more, the less immediate. And I'll, I'll talk about some technology later on. For example, there's a contrast between AR and VR. For those of you who do not know, uh, augmented reality and virtual reality. Augmented reality is basically you have that, like you'll look through a phone and you'll see like a like a, a Pokemon Go, you'll see some kind of schematic put on top of the of the uh, reality you're seeing through, say, your phone's screen. And virtual reality is more of a, an immersive environment. I'm sure most of you, if not all of you, already know that. Uh, they are at the forefront of today's attempts at mediacy. When you use those types of technology, and they're very sophisticated technologies, obviously, they allow that immediacy to happen in ways that were not um, possible beforehand. Uh, here's some of the traits and characteristics of, of uh, content immediacy. Uh, um, digital content immediacy tends to be exciting and sought after. People really like it, as you saw for p the people who are fans of, say, ex the example, the, the Pokemon game. Uh, people really like that kind of thing. Um, you know, uh, different things like the uh, Oculus uh, set, headset are is also something that people are excited about. No, not everyone, but but I think it, that has more to do with uh, the technology developing, and as it gets better and better, I think I'm sure I'm sure people will be more excited about it and will seek after it more. Uh, and it's extreme forms. Uh, immediacy is experiencing content as if you were the content itself. Again, that that sort of shows the idea of, of tech of VR and AR. And technology can encourage or impede immediacy. Again, the more sophisticated and seamless the technology that encourages the immediacy, the less seamless the it'll impede um, immediacy. I'll give an example of this type of idea. It's the, uh, through a metaphor that you, I'm sure you're all familiar with. Um, Maybe a simple form of immediacy is a desktop metaphor used by desktop and laptop computers. So when you're interfacing and you're interacting with uh, a, your computer, like a desktop computer or a laptop computer, you'll think of the idea of, a, of the screen as being your desktop and all the icons and things on it. As well as you see on those, there's typically files and folders. Our natural metaphor 
that goes, once you have a desktop, what do you have on it? Things like files and folders, which correspond to various storage places and documents, etc., and other forms of media. However, as you'll see in contrast, this metaphor does not apply as readily for tablets and smartphones, where it's more, it more has more icons and less the idea of files and folders. They can have those things done through icons, but they're, it's a little, the metaphor doesn't work as well because it's just a little bit different type of technology. Uh, I'm going to talk a little bit about interfaces and immediacy and how they interact. Um, so again, you'll have a, you know, when you're using a, a laptop, a desktop, uh, a smartphone, etc. That's an interface to your content. Uh, if you want to strive for immediacy, you want to aim so that the user forgets the interface between the user and their content. When they're just so into the content, they don't think about the interface. That's the gold standard. Unfortunately, that's never fully achieved. It just, it's just, it's like, it's like a, that kind of like, it's like the Sisyphean goal where you're pushing the rock up and it always sort of seems to slide back down. You always go for the the uh, the the golden the golden aim the um, the end that you want, but it's, it's never fully achieved. And obviously, people can get into it really into a content. Say, if a person's using like playing a video game or something, and they're into it for hours, and then after a while, no matter how immersed they are, they're gonna sort of pull back at some time. Hopefully, at least. We talk about the ideas of rupture and immediacy and how those those interact. Um, there's a rupture between you and the real world, and it's limited. Uh, there can be experience of blending digital content in the natural world. You'll see like digital signage everywhere these days, and etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. The ideal you'd want to have if you want to foster immediacy is to have interfaceless interfaces and natural interactions. And, and the more you have them, seeing there's not an interface or the interaction is very natural, the better that is. Maybe you'll think about a thing like a, a, Siri, a Siri or Alexa where you're talking to something where it seems like you're just talking to the air. That would be a, an example of those things. That was the concept and the characteristics of content immediacy. Um, thanks for watching. My name is Dino. Uh, please feel free to like this video. Please feel free to comment on it. Um, what do you think about the idea of content immediacy? What do you think of the characteristics and traits of it? Can we ever uh, reach that, that goal? Is it sort of something that we can never quite breach? Are things like VR and AR helping us get to immediacy? What are the roles of legacy media, et cetera, et cetera? Um, as always, uh, thanks for watching, and please feel free to subscribe to this channel if you like this type of content. Uh, take care. Thanks for watching.